you're in the hot spot. <laughs> yeah. How old are you, Ann? I'm 16. Would you tell us about your part of the program? Yeah, well, I'm from the uh, high school travel club, and, well, I'm supposed to tell you what we're doing, right? That's good. Yeah, I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it all started, like, um, when we decided we wanted to be just a plain travel club rather than being a Y team club. That's neat. Yeah. Uh, we decided we were going to have just one big trip uh, <laughs> at the end of the year. Blow the money all at once. Yeah. <laughs> but we decided that wouldn't be too good because some of the kids couldn't come and it'd be oh, kind yeah. of a waste of, at the end of the year. So yeah. we're just going to plan having small trips one at a time. And our first one's going to be to Squaw um, during Christmas vacation. That's nice. How many do you think will go? Oh, I think, I hope, the whole club, which is 15 right now. Yeah. How'd you get interested in joining the Y teens? Well, I've been in it uh, since I was in seventh grade, and I just wanted to be in a club, and I found out that, you know, Y was a good... My, you have lasted long. What school do you attend? I go to Bangor High. Bangor High. Mm -hmm. And what are you taking there? Um, a college course. Taking college course. You like to go to college? You'd probably like to get into Y work yourself. Well, I don't know. I, <laughs> I want to... <laughs> something in home ec, so it might... I don't Why, know. sure. Right. Well, thanks ever so much, Ann. And who's yeah. that behind you, dear? Um, my name is Kathy Davenport. Hi, Kathy Davenport. You've been going to the Y quite a while? Uh, well, not really. I've just um, started recently to get involved in it. Yeah, good. And uh, could you tell us something about the program? Well, um, I'm here representing Big Sisters. And I've just started. I got my little sister about two weeks ago, and we've been together once. We spent Saturday afternoon together downtown. And that and was enough. That was well. the end of it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that was fun, though, really, huh? Yeah. It What's was her fun. name, you little sister? Um, her name is Linda from Bangor. And she's 10 years old, and she's really a nice little girl. That's fun. And uh, each girl in the Y teens has a little sister. That's right. And that's what the Big Sister program is, right? Yeah, it's um, just an opportunity for um, little kind of underprivileged girls to, yeah. you know, have an older girl to look up to and spend time with, you know, get some attention. Sure. I think it's a great program. Who started that? Do you know? No, oh, I don't. Because yeah, well, it's, it's always been there since you've been there, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I think it's a grand thing to do. Yeah, it's really fun, and mm. it's, um, it's really helped me, you know. Of course it has. I'm glad you told us that. Uh, Linda, were you ever a little sister to uh, a big sister at the Y? No, I just heard about the program about um, just a few months ago. I see, yeah. So and it's kind of new to <laughs> And you attend what school? I go to Bangor High also. Bangor High, and you're taking college course. College same. course, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Linda. Uh, now, uh, who is this, uh, who's this nice girl? Right I'm Rhonda here. Kitchen. Hi, Rhonda. Hi. Uh, listen, I ran into somebody yesterday, uh, and uh, he was a teacher in Bradford, and his name is Kitchen. Is he related to no, you? No, he isn't. <laughs> Uh, and your uh, what program can you tell us about? Well, me and Nancy are from the. Um, oh, yours, your my diamond. diamond. Hi, Nancy. Nancy what? Diamond. Nancy Diamond. Right. And we're from the um, Teen Action Board, which is like the um, big board of directors at the Y, and we have representatives from all different parts of the Y, like um, aquariums and the decentralized clubs, and we're gonna see their problems they have and see if we can help them. Well, sure. Nancy, you Yes, I do. I enjoy the Y. And you go to where, uh, school where, Nancy? Bangor High School. And uh, you've been along to the Y how long? Well, since seventh grade. And what does your work now exactly consist of? I'm in Y Teens, and I'll probably be on the y, um, Teen Action Board also with different girls. And you just get involved with different girls, and it's a really good program. Is you think it does a lot of good? Do you? Yes, I do. You really do. Yeah. Uh, can you name some of the children with whom you work? Well, mostly um, kids from school. And then each month now we're going to have an activity. And this involves everybody in the Y, so you'll meet kids from um, all over Maine. Nancy, do you go to the Y right after school? No, um, my particular Y teen club meets uh, at nights. Oh, at night? Yeah. You can't go directly after school? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, we just pick a time that's convenient for everybody. Sure. Yeah, that's good. And uh, could you tell some of the uh, parents who might be watching uh, how their daughters could get interested in why? Well, you can call up the why and ask for information about what you're interested in. Right. And uh, first uh, Teen Action Board meeting will be no November 13th at 7 o'clock. On a Friday the 13th? I'm not sure what Friday. day it is. 
Monday. Uh, Rhonda, do you have a little sister? Um, no, I don't. You don't have a little sister? I have a little sister, but not. Oh. <laughs> a little kitchen sister yeah. you have, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks ever so much. Was there anything else you wanted to say? No. no. All right. Everybody's well, welcome to the Teen Action Board meeting. Good girl. And now we have a assistant uh, coming up to see us. Uh, your name is what? Lynette Koff. Lynette Koff. And are you from Bangor, Lynette? Oh, well, uh, originally I'm from Addison, Maine, but my husband and I are living in Bangor now. You like it a lot? Yeah, I like it very much. And what does your work consist of at the time? Well, I'm the assistant teenage program director, and I'm in charge of all the decentralized Y teen clubs, which meet outside Bangor. Oh, boy. And also, I'm working on the Big Sister program. You like that? It. And it's going well? Yeah, everything seems to be going fine. We started it off very small, but we're hoping to increase the numbers and eventually get a very well-organized program. Surely. How big would you like to have it? How many? Well, we're aiming for 50 big sisters and 50 little sisters. Oh, that's neat. Cause we it's have about 12 or 14 now, but we're aiming. It's a very valuable program. I think it is. I yeah, think it's right, very valuable. Right. And this is a federal-funded program through oh, it is? Title IV of the Social Securities Act. Oh, really? So we're very excited about it. I didn't know that. Uh, and uh, how much uh, dealings do you have with these uh, federal fund people? Well, we have to keep very strict records and accounts of what's going on to inform them so that they'll hopefully um, extend our funding to last another year. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. And uh, you get there at the water early in the morning? Though? Well, yes. <laughs> and I stay there till late at night. <laughs> you do really, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a very long day, but yeah. I have a good time, so I really yeah. enjoy it. And you do such good work, right? Who are these two standing way over there? I'm going to tell you something about some other programs. <laughs> Won't you come on in? And your name is what? Karen Washburn. Hi, Karen. You look nice. Thank you. She has lovely red hair, folks. Uh, Karen, uh, you go to school? Bangor High. You go to Bangor High, and you're majoring in, uh, or you're taking what? College course. College course. Yeah. And tell us about your program at the Y. Well, I'm talking about the drop-in center, and this is open for the teenage group, or even the, anyone that belongs to the Y, and it will be from, or outside, and it's going to be from 2.30 to 5.30 for kids in the el elementary age, from 5.30 to 10.30. And it's run by um, four college men and two ladies. And the, there will be a meeting Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, to talk about um, the why and how it's going to start. And anyone's mm -hmm. um, <laughs> offered to come and enjoy it. And there's going to be people from different schools and everything. Anything. My TV before you're so good. No, I haven't. I think she <laughs> ought to. <laughs> she ought to have her own show, don't you think, folks? Right? <laughs> what do you like to watch on TV? Almost any program. No, almost any program. Right. <laughs> You'd even watch this one, right? No. <laughs> I mean, What's that? We, we, well, we don't have cable TV, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. You really. Uh, <laughs> you really, uh, though. Uh, see value in your work, don't you? Yes. You, you, were think, you do think it's worthwhile and you're quite enthusiastic about it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you can go join your buddies now. And now we have folks, but not least, uh, your name is what? Ellen Woodhead. Ellen what, dear? Ellen Woodhead. Ellen Woodhead. And uh, Ellen, you live where? Bangor, in, Maine. In Bangor. And you've gone to the Y a long time, have you? Ever since I was in the seventh grade. And what program can you tell us about? Um, I'm talking about the high school program at the Y and, well, the and it's the sophomore club. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, we do a lot of different <coughs> things. Like last year, we went to a, um, a, a home for elderly people. Oh, you did? Yes. Old women there. That's where we got our cameraman. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was nice. I bet they enjoyed that. Yes. And we do, uh, like, fundraising projects. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the year, we usually take a trip or something. And... Last year we went to Bar Harbor. You did? Mm -hmm. What did you do there? Well, a lot of different things. <laughs> <laughs> and you're taking the college course, are you? Yes. Yeah. Would you like to get into Y work? Um, yes, yeah, sometime on. I'd rather. Oh, you'd rather be nurse, yes. right? Yeah. Well, I think you did very well, Miss Woodhead, and thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, would the uh, director come and sort of summarize things for us? This again is Sherry St. Amand. I think they did well, don't you? Yeah. Good. I think they did. Sort of tried to break each other up there, but uh, <laughs> was there anything right. you wanted to add, Sherry? Um, there, was, there was one thing I wanted to um, clarify on the drop-in center. Um, this is something that, that's very new, and we're just getting going. Programs had all been going on, and I'd, I'd like to encourage um, teens from all over the Bangor area to come.
drop-in center. This is not going to be strictly a YWCA drop-in oh. center. We're federally funded again um, through Title IV-A, and um, so we are setting it up, but with the help of teens from all over, and it will be a community drop-in center. Oh, neat. Next Tuesday is for teens to air their opinions and to develop policies for the center. So it's very important for any teens in the center to, to come then. Oh, okay. Sherry, yes. Thanks so much. Uh, Sherry, the only thing I was going to ask, oh, you have a drop a drop out center. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. I hope it just be drop in. <laughs> Sherry, they have a great swim program, don't they, mm -hmm. Dubai? Yes. Very we have a new building that just opened about a month ago, and we have a very large pool with underwater lights and, and music, and we have a large <laughs> gym to... <laughs> underwater music. Yeah, right, really, really. When you're swimming underwater, you can hear it. <laughs> and then where? Um, it's located, the new entrance is on 17 Second Street. Oh, I see. Yeah. The old entrance on Union Street um, open at some times. Right, yeah. So it, the building is all attached. The yeah, well, yeah, that's sort of nice. Yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't so want them to go off anywhere. Locations, yeah. right? <laughs> Thank you again, Sherry mm -hmm. St. Amant, and uh, for all yeah. of the nice girls that you brought to meet the folks. Mm -hmm. And we well, wish. Thanks for having us on. And we wish you the very best. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay, you're home. Folks, this morning we have back with us. Fo uh, I better do that over again. Folks, this morning. With us, Mrs. Ralph Arnold Folsom, Edna Folsom, right? That's no. <laughs> and Edna Folsom, your great grandmother and a great grandmother. Oh, I believe so. You, but you have more great grandchildren than you do. Yes, I do. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, could you say one of those nice little poems for us? Very short one this morning. All right. <laughs> Arrayed in snow white pants and vests and other raiment. You, I stood before my sweetheart Sue, the charming creature I love best. Tell me, and does my costume suit? I asked that apple in my eye, and then the child replied, Oh, yes, you do look awful cute. <laughs> Though I frequently had heard my sweetheart vent her pressure so, I must confess, I don't know the meaning of that favorite word. But presently, at window side, watched the passing throng, and soon a donkey passed along with ears like wings, extended wide. And gazing at that doleful brute, my sweetheart gave a cry. I quote her language with a sigh. Oh, ain't he awful cute? <laughs> That's short enough for. Yeah, that's very good. Um, where did you learn that? Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't know a long time ago. A long time ago, like in your 20s or something like that? Oh, yes. Before. M possibly before that. How like, do you remember things all these years? <laughs> I don't know. I forget a lot of things that happened yesterday. <laughs> but it's really wonderful memory. What is your secret to memorizing things? Oh, I just like to, I guess. Just oh, I always see. enjoyed it. Like if you sat memorize four lines in a poem now, would you have to say them over and over and over again to yourself? Or? Uh, well, sure. Not more than three, four times, probably. Oh, that's wonderful. I think that's a great... Well, we thank you, Edna Folsom, for giving us this cute little poem. Tell her sometime? Oh, yes, you're quite welcome. Folks, that's the uh, big reels rewinding. This is a reel that you just saw. It's a seven inch reel, one hour length. And I don't know what that audio and video dropout is. As I say, we did it several times over and over again. And we couldn't get rid of it. So maybe this is the best we'll ever be able to get. Here is a uh, collection of, let me get this cord out of the way. These are the uh, eight millimeter tapes. I just think of how many rooms and how many shelves uh, this amount of footage would take up if uh, this was three quarter inch or if it were uh, even half inch. How did you sleep, Enoch? Hmm? Did you sleep, Enoch? She's sleeping on the ABC, WABC TV Channel 7 towel.
you want to help me, folks, while I clean these heads? This is one big job. Cleaning heads. That's the one inch reel. Those go way back in 1973. This is a Panasonic uh, reel, by the way. Somehow, I don't think they knew much about making tape then. So you have to clean the tape path. So you start way up here, which is the uh, capstan for the uh, feed reel. And this is the take-up reel. Now you go over here, this post, which is probably giving us a lot of problems. That's the uh, tension. It takes care of the tape tension. And there's an audio head here, or an erase head. And there's another capstan. And this post gives trouble. So you go way, way down here behind the post, as far as you can get, and you give it a really good cleansing. Now just a little tiny bit of dirt. Now you go around the drum where the heads are. Pretty soon I'll show you a head. You go all the way around this tape path. Now there's two heads. It's a bar and each end of the bar is a head. Now head is very, very tiny. It's like the no big in a needle. And it's right about, see this bar going from here to here, and the head is right about there in the middle. And as I say, it's just a needle. That's a video head. So you just saturate them, but ever so carefully, of course. You hold this here to keep the head from going back. And you just shampoo these heads. Ah! I think he went back a little, so you bring him around. This is like a Miss Fix-It show. Now, just one more time here. Just to make sure. Okay, now, turn the bar all the way around until the other side comes up. And it's red. This side is red for some reason. It's a red head. Ah! Like the man who said to his buddy, he says that, is it true that blondes have better temperaments than redheads? And the man says, well, I don't know. He says, my wife has been both, and I can't see any difference. Okay, let's call it clean for the heads. Now, you see this capstan? See, even a little piece of lint like that. You know, could ruin a picture. There's this little tape guide here. And this post. The tape goes behind this post, so let's go down in there. And really. There. Clean that up. Now this is the audio record head. This one. And this, uh, Brackets out here because it's on rewind. You have to put it on stop. Okay, and then the bracket goes in. Now here's the audio record head. Get him nice and clean. Get these posts clean because the tape goes around these. So this is what they call the helical scan. It was the discovery of helical, helical scan, H E L I C A L, coming of course from the word helix or helix. Uh, that made it possible to have this small format. See, I'll show you something in just a second since I finished this rubber roller. You see, the tape comes from here, up here, and then it changes levels. See, it's part of a helix. helix. Okay. Set the tape counter to zero. Wash the handle. Polish up the handle on the big brass door. And that's it. So 
So, we'll see you tomorrow for the next to the last. It's an hour of spool. I hope it goes better. When you take this out, you never know what problems you're going to run into. To say, I take one more look at her, the princess. Very telegenic, isn't she? Isn't that right? We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some doubt. <laughs> and this is Brian Bonner. Brian Bonner, and Brian uh, is uh, an interesting lad. Your mom and dad come straight from Ireland, do they? Or right. They? Oh, they do really? Yeah. And uh, you uh, don't? Uh, do they have a nice accent, Brian? Uh, well, my father's passed away. My mother, I think. I don't know whether she has one or not. <laughs> you have to get an outsider to listen to her. <laughs> uh, I mean, when she balls you out, does she do it in Irish or does she do it in English? <laughs> no, you can understand every word of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian brought along his accordion uh, for us tonight, and he's going to play us a tune or two. An interesting thing about Brian is that he's just about to uh, finish up his degree in uh, electrical engineering at the State University of New York. That's a pretty hard grind, isn't it? It's right. been a long grind. <laughs> and there's no place there for Blarney, is there? You have to... <laughs> <laughs> Not hardly. <laughs> Brian, have you been to Ireland? Not yet, no. You haven't been. You'd no. like to, though, someday, right? Well, we're hoping to go maybe next year. And you just became the daddy of a little girl, right? Right, last yeah. a week ago. And uh, how many have you now, Brian? This makes four. This is four. And their ages are what? Uh, five, four, two, and And there's week. one week. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's nice if you'd play us a nice tune. Put away the car keys. <laughs> Brian Bonner. What do you want to hear? Oh, uh, good Irish thing. Well, I'll tell you what, you be our guide and take us through whatever you think. That was a grand starter. What was that now? That's called a reel. 
Uh, again, please? A reel. Oh, a reel, and just a reel. I don't know what the name is for. <laughs> Brian, who taught you how to play this, and how did you get started? And... I started when I was a kid, and then I quit and started again when I was in the service. <laughs> oh, you did really? What started you up in the service on it? Just something to do aboard ship. Oh, oh, I see. You're in the Navy? Right. Right, United States Navy, the Irish Navy. Yeah. <laughs> United States. <laughs> Uh, and so you're glad that you've taken up again, because oh, yeah, you I wouldn't get, want to lose track of it. No, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Sure. Do you read music, or, or do you just pick it up by ear, or what? Uh, both. I read, I read and I do a lot by ear. Well, you really have a feeling for it. Would you play us another tune, Brian? Sure. Brian Bonner again, folks. That, that's just grand. We just we just love those. Uh, and Brian, your wife is Una, right? Right. And uh, she works for Vision Company. Right. She works for Lackawanna Cable. Yeah. And um, you are going to go into uh, probably industry yourself uh, Ho as, hopefully. You know, <laughs> as an engineer, right? Well, you know, I think this is a good thing that you took up in the Navy, Brian. Instead of playing cards, you know, like that, right? Well, I learned my lesson in cards right away. <laughs> 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 now, folks, uh, Brian's going to play another tune for us, and then another uh, Irish person is coming along, uh, uh, Colleen, right? Right, Liz Sheehy. Liz. And uh, she'll be here, and she's going to play her guitar, and she'll folk songs, she and Brian together. Brian, what were you going to play for us now? Uh, the last one was a, the first one was the real, the last one was a jig. Might as well get them all in there and do a hornpipe. Oh, yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> 